Hi guys, so today I am making my dark chocolate Rice Krispie squares and I have shared them on Instagram a few times and everybody wants to know how to make them so I am going to show you. Alright, so everything you're going to need for this video is a large pan, brown rice, crispy rice cereal, sunflower seed butter, my favorite one is from Trader Joe's, these dark chocolate chocolate chips that um, are sugar free. <laughs> um, this Lakanto powdered sugar and the Lakanto maple syrup. They're actually just made from monk fruit, so they have no sugar in them. And then you're also going to need ghee and vanilla extract. You're also going to need a nine inch pan. Mine is not nine inches, it's a little too big, but it's all I have, so I'm gonna make it work. So the first thing you're gonna do is Put your stove on low heat. You're going to add the whole bag of chocolate chips. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of ghee. And then you're just going to stir everything as it melts and try to not stop stirring. And then I'm going to add the sunflower seed butter. Now I'm going to add my vanilla. Alright, next I'm going to add one tablespoon of my Lakanto maple syrup. This kind of starts to burn a little bit, so you need to stir quickly. All right, then I'm gonna add my last tablespoon of the ghee. So it melts it all real nice again. All right, now I'm going to stir all the melted chocolate into the cereal. Okay, so now that I've got all my melted chocolate in the cereal, I'm just gonna mix it until it's all perfectly combined. Okay, so now that I have combined all of the chocolate and the Rice Krispies, I'm going to put that all in this dish, just like normal Rice Krispies, and just flatten it down. So the last step is putting more powdered Lakanto on top of the Rice Krispies. Just like this. Okay, so once you've covered it completely, you're just gonna pop this in the fridge until it's cool. So once they're done cooling off, take them out of the fridge, chop them into squares, and they're all ready.